Hey YouTubers, I just wanted to do a quick video about a little project I'm working on. A little bathroom project in an outbuilding, a studio. And I've been fooling around with um, using OSB um, on interior walls and using um, mud on it to try to get different relief effects um, as opposed to using drywall. A uh, couple of things, I had the OSB it was some US to, some used OSB sheets I had kicking around. I've been fooling around with uh, using OSB uh, four bit sheets and and a bit of mud in the past. Uh, and, and this project here, I'm really actually trying to apply more mud onto the OSB panel. And, and um, I'm not going for a perfectly flat surface, but I'm going for more mud and a bit of relief and and. Uh, and we'll just see how that works. So let's look at when he, let's look at an older project I did with the uh, OSB panel. So here you can see uh, here's an example of uh, of OSB uh, without any paint on it. And there's the OSB with the paint. Uh, it's still you can really see that it, it looks like OSB board. And uh, below this, I've I've applied a bit of mud onto this and sanded it, sanded the uh, high spots off, but left, you know, for the, a bit of a relief effect on it. And um, once I finish this off and I put some things on the wall up here and cover that up, it, it's not too bad. It's not drywall. It certainly isn't drywall by any means, but, um, you know, it's, it's not too bad. It's a little bit different and it doesn't look too bad. Okay, so back in the bathroom, one of the issues I had with this little project um, is that if I'd used drywall, I knew there was going to be a lot of waste in here. The, I've only got seven foot walls in the back and the door and the shower stall. I knew there was going to be a lot of waste. And up here in Canada, drywall is getting more expensive. It's up to $14 for an eight foot sheet. But disposing of the waste is getting really expensive uh, and really difficult in some regions. Um, so I thought I had TOSB again. I just had a bunch of it kicking around. I got a really good deal on a bunch of U sheets, and and I haven't sanded. This is a second coat. This is all I'm going to do. I'm not going to do another coat. So I'm going to sand today, and I've got a bit more caulking to do up in the corners, and then I'm going to paint it. And uh, after I paint it, we'll come back and, and have a look and, and see what this room looks like. Okay, here we are, um, back in the bathroom. I put some paint on here. I said in the earlier video that um, I didn't think I was going to put any more mud on. I put the first coat of paint on, and I thought, well, what the heck. <clears throat> I did another coat, a third coat, really just a skim coat. Um, that I barely had to sand, I just had to touch it. But I thought I would put another coat of mud on just to try to cover up some of the real glaring imperfections. But this is pretty much it now. Um, I'm kind of done with it and I'm kind of happy with it. Um, it's sort of a, a Mediterranean style wall and that's sort of what I was going for. It's not perfect by any means, but it's something that you might find in a Mediterranean type house with uh, the plaster walls or the cement um, and I, you know it's okay I want to do this you're not going to do this in your main house this is just a little studio as I've said and here you can see the OSP I've just left this so that we could compare it side by side I'm obviously going to put a mirror here and cover that but there's the OSP with nothing on it and then there's my three coats of mud I used about 10 liters or 2 gallons of mud in this room. Um, I said earlier that I was going to be caulking the corners. Uh, an old friend of mine, an old handyman friend of mine, turned me on to using painters, latex painters caulking in uh, drywall and I'm using it in the uh, OSP walls here in the corners. And it really saves a lot of time in the sanding and and this is just OSP, this is just the latex caulking. And um, and it looks pretty good. I do that all the time now when I do drywall. Um, so when I put the mud on here, um, I used mostly a six inch knife. And the idea was just to get it on there as thin as I could 
but covering the texture of the OSP uh, and getting on it as soon as I could, spreading it out. Uh, a lot of times I did use kind of a circular motion. Um, you could go for that kind of an effect if you wanted. Back in the day in the 60s, all the new houses had sort of a Spanish finished wall with a circular motion on it. You know, kind of a circular motion in the mud. I guess you could go for that kind of an effect. But the idea was just to get it on there as soon as I could. Um, it took me uh, three coats. The third coat was just a light skim coat. Uh, I'm going to hang a bunch of pictures in here and I think it's going to look okay. And I think I do have kind of a Mediterranean finish there. A friend of mine had a good idea or a good tip. I'm sure it's not his idea. Instead of sanding, using a, uh, a real damp sponge just to smooth things off. And if I do this again, I might do a few more walls in this building with this method. I'll try that. So anyway, so there you go. Um, I just thought I would show you this just, just for fun. Um, it's not just for people going into the country, but I know a lot of times folks like us in the country sort of like to use what we have on hand. And, and as I said earlier in the video, drywall is getting more expensive, but more importantly, getting rid of waste drywall is getting, is getting really expensive and, and difficult, especially in some areas. So I, I thought it was worth a try and, and, um, and, uh, and, and I would probably, I'd probably do it again, not in my main house, but in buildings like this. So, so there you go. Thanks for watching. Uh, I've got a whole series uh, of videos on going to the country. Check those out. And if you want to support me, check out my sponsors. You don't have to buy anything. Just look at their ads. And, uh, and I get a few pennies for that if you check out their ads. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.